I walk two to three miles every other day now. Probably not a lot of people on the heart transplant list could say that. I think about um, when I get a heart, you know, when the phone call comes for me to get a heart, I think about all those good things when I walk. I realized something was wrong after I had my baby, Jermaine. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't eat right, swelling of my legs, forgetting my kids, what their names were. Things like that made me know that something was wrong. My original doctor said that he just really didn't know what was wrong with me, that he was would send me to a heart specialist because he knew that it was something wrong with my heart. When I got to the University of Michigan, the doctor looked at me. He knew instantly something was wrong with me just by looking at me. I was not getting enough blood flow, oxygen through the heart. When they told me I needed heart surgery, I couldn't think about nothing but my kids. I was like, whatever you need to do to make me better, to get to my kids, please do it. I don't, I don't care what you have to do. I need to get better and I need to get back to my kids. They had to go in and put a left ventricle assist device in so that it can pump for me. And it flows around through there and it doesn't stop. It just pumps, pumps. The staff at University of Michigan, they are awesome. They helped me all the way through. They didn't give up on me. Most people waiting for transplant surgery, their life is on hold. You're forced to sit back and just wait, but not me. My doctor told me to go live, so that's what I do every day, and nothing stops me.